Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at how to solve linear systems when we are given two linear equations in the form y equals mx plus b, so that slope y-intercept form. If you're looking for a more advanced version um, when both lines are not in this form, then go check out my uh, other video with a more advanced version of solving linear systems using the substitution method. So we have two equations here. We'll label them equation one and equation two. And if you see, they both say y equals, and then they have this expression, y equals, and then there's ex this expression. So in using this substitution method, we want to substitute one equation into the other equation. Well, if this says y equals this bit here, and y equals this part here, then both of these expressions must be equal to each other since they're both equal to y. So really what we can do is take that expression in the first equation and sub it in for the y in the second equation, and then we can uh, go on with our solving. So when we sub them into each other, it's gonna look like this, negative 2x plus 5 equals 2 over 3x minus 1 over 3. And so now they're equal to each other and what we've accomplished by subbing them into each other is got, we've gotten rid of the y variables and we only have x variables here now. So we can um, move things around now to combine like terms and to solve for the x variable only. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of this fraction. Um, we have that over 3 on this side here. It will be easier, easier for us to solve if we uh, cancel out or eliminate that fraction by multiplying the whole expression by 3. So I'm going to do that. Multiply the whole thing by 3 since that's in the denominator to get rid of that uh, denominator. You don't have to do this step, but I do think that it makes uh, solving the equation a little bit easier to deal with. So negative 2x times 3 is negative 6x, and 5 times 3 is 15 equals, now when we do 2 over 3 times 3, well we have divided by 3 and then times 3, so that's really 2x. And then same thing here, minus 1 third times 3, well if we have divided by 3 and times 3, uh, those are inverses of each other, so we get minus 1 here. And so now we have an equation to solve with no fractions, and I think that's usually a little simpler for people to deal with. So now let's combine like terms. I'm going to uh, move this plus 15 here over to the other side, so we'll do the opposite, minus 15 on both sides. And that leaves us with negative 6x equals 2x minus 16. And now we'll do the same with the x term. So we want this term to move over here. So we'll do oh, minus 2x to move it over. And now this gives us negative negative 8x and on the other side we're left with negative 16. So we have just a one step equation left to solve. To get that x by itself we're going to divide by the negative 8 and so negative 16 divided by negative 8 leaves us with x equals positive 2. So there's the x coordinate of our point of intersection but a point of intersection needs an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, so um, we are going to take that x now and sub it back into one of the original equations in the system. It doesn't matter which one we use because this point, if it is a point of intersection, should satisfy both equations um, in the same way. So I always suggest we choose the one that looks the easiest, and I think that easiest one is equation number one without the fractions on it. So I'm going to sub in that x equals two into equation one. So let's bring that up here. We'll do, I'm gonna move over to the side here. 
sub x equals 2 into equation number 1. So we have y equals negative 2x plus 5, y equals negative 2, the x is 2, so there's my subbing in, plus 5, y equals negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 5, so our y coordinate is positive 1. So this means the solution to the system, or the point of intersection if you prefer, is x, that was our 2, comma, y, which was our 1. And there's our point of intersection for this linear system here. The solution to the system is the point where the two lines cross, and that happens at 2, 1. Thanks for watching. This is A Loves Math.